Okay, I'm Jadi and welcome back to Geeking with Jadi. We are going through LPQ1 1094 configure client side DNS. Take note, client side. We are not configuring the DNS server. We are configuring DNS on the client machines. The weight is two, which is low, not because DNS is not important, but because it's not too much information first and uh, second we have technically covered all of these before i really like dns that's why i've talked a lot about it dns is like a distributed database old school one so I really like it. The protocol is fun. People do very, very fun things using DNS. I may create a video for it someday, maybe. But at the moment, we should go for our LPIC. So, you already know about the DNS. Domain, name, system. The system which converts the human readable names to the IP addresses. So, if you have a very nice site called yahoo.com, practically to go there, you need the IP address, whatever it is. Just a guess, which is wrong. It's very unlikely to guess is correct. But you have to memorize this to be able to go to yahoo.com. That's why you just need to know this. The company buys this domain connects it to a DNS provider. For example, a very famous one is Cloudflare. And in Cloudflare, configures that whoever came with this name and asked for yahoo.com, answer back this IP version 4. And also answer back this IP version 4. And this and this, because this is Yahoo. Even if they asked for IP version 6, answer back this, 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 this. If they wanted to send an email, tell them to go to these servers and deliver their emails there. You can configure different DNS things, but that is about DNS servers. Here we are just talking about clients, so it's much easier. This is useful because now we just need to know the name yahoo.com and not all these IP numbers. Again, someday, Yahoo might need to add a server. They cannot announce to all the people. Or if I have my own small web server somewhere doing blah, blah. I can have this uh, linuxfirst.com, which you can read the book about LPIC and other stuff. I may have this. I may give you the IP address, you may use it to reach my site, but someday I might need to change this IP address to somewhere else. Normally, it would be difficult because I have to announce the new IP address from this state. But when I'm using the names, I will just change, add the, or uh, add it or replace the old IP with the new IP in my DNS server, for example, on Cloudflare, and still you will go here. But DNS server will answer back with another address. This is not confusing, this is easy. If you want to find it, like most of us do, just do a ping on your domain. Okay, so this is the IP address of the hacker news. This is most of us do this. If we want to check if DNS works, fine. You can also do a ping for linuxfirst.com and you will get back the IP address and then break it. But more technical people don't try ping to find IP addresses. They use the proper command, which is host. And it gives you more information. For example, you can say host linuxfirst.com. So it's okay. Linuxfirst has these configurations. It has two version 4 IPs and two version 6 IPs. This is set on your DNS server. For example, in this case, Cloudflare has this information. So my computer contacts 
the dot com place which knows about linux first asks about the dns server goes here says who has the ip what ip address you have for the linux first the dns server in this case cloudflare answers back i have two entries for ip version 4 which are these and two entries for ip version 6 which are these because i have configured this technically on the dns server side these are called a records and these are called a a a a records email entries are called mx record just the naming for example if i do the same thing for yahoo.com hmm. it tells me that okay if you are going to yahoo.com i have these a records or ip version 4 i have these a a a a records which are ip version 6 and i have three mx records which are for mail if you want to send an email your email client will check this will go here and send the emails you can guess again it needs to ask for ip addresses we can also have other configurations like text record lots of things but here this is more than lpq1 so the proper command is host what we do and then we break it and i have one of these so my computer got all of these but decided to use one of them to ping which is logical i'm not going to ping all if i was using ping six it would ping one of these and if i was using an email system it would use one of these so this is the host command you can also specify one specific here I say whatever you have. I can say host type AAAA yahoo.com. And it says, okay, these are the AAA records, IP version 6. So, host will get the IPs, the information about the records, and returns them back. But if I want to do a deeper troubleshooting, I have to dig for it. I would go with dig yahoo.com. This is more about the protocol. Here, I'm saying dig for troubles in yahoo.com. See how this is working. It gives me all the protocol level. For example, it says, uh, I have a command. It's opcode, operation code, is query, no error. And I got these answers back in my flags or QR. Answers are eight. So these are eight answers I have on the A record. And there is a, if I'm not mistaken, this is TTL, time to leave. For the next 726 seconds, this answer is valid. We have different TTLs here. It's time to leave. And it says for the next 10 minutes or so, 12 minutes, I think, yes. For the next 12 minutes, 726 seconds, my answer won't change. My answer are these. So please don't ask, just cache them. And it took four milliseconds for this server to answer back. You know where this server comes from. We have this seen this configuration before. ETC resolve conf is where I have my DNS server set with the name server in the previous sections i had a, a longer discussion about this so i won't cover in more depth now uh, but practically you can have even more you can have two name servers this is a very famous one on the internet or 8888 is another one and your computer will choose one of these to query when doing the dig my machine used this one i can directly tell to the dig uh sorry to the dig to use another server Ow. this should be the ads so. and it says okay i tried this machine port 53 is uh dns servers port and I've got these answers with this TTL. And you can see it took longer, a little bit. 
So this is the dig, you know the host, you know the ETC resolve, which is used to uh, configure. But in most cases nowadays, if you change it in the next boot, in the next network connection, it may change. It is being controlled by network manager and other subsystems. But you can check it there and you can change it there. So if I go and change mine here and say sudo vim etc resolve.conf and say change this to 4442 and do a dig on yahoo.com says okay I this time I checked this server took this long and these are the answers I got back uh, one more thing you also have this etc hosts file this is a combination of an IP address and some name so I can add something there I can go here and say from now on is the is called my storage and is called the server two names so from now on I have this here if I ping server it will go directly to this one if I say dig sorry server says I ask from 4224 no answer I don't have an answer for this no domain hmm. so when my computer wanted to check what is the IP address of this name consulted hosts first and then went for the DNS with a dig command I am telling it ask this machine on the DNS level what is the IP address for this and it says okay I don't know because there is no answer so etc hosts helps people to configure specific IP and names to each other connect them to each other sometimes even we do things like this we used to do from now on whenever I try to go to the Facebook it won't work because my computer will translate it to this IP address very very fun uh, if you check the people who develop for web or on different projects you may see lots of things in etc hosts because if I'm starting to work on a new project instead of uh, trying to remember the IP addresses or whatever I just add it here once and say okay this is the server I'm working on and it is called for example proof of concept on TR project and from now on I can say SSH to proof of concept TR project and it will try to connect to that specific server which is meaningless at the moment because this is not a real server so no answer from this IP but this is how it works etc hosts and there is a configuration nss switch you've seen it uh, cat etc ns ns switch here it tells my computer where to go if you wanted to search a password it says just check files so it is only checks etc past wt host is important for us it says if you wanted to check any host first go to the files which is etc host then check the mdns for minimal then check the dns if i move the dns here and will tell that go to server my computer first will check with the dns then would go to etc host which is not very good but it's good to know about this file uh, and I'm sure we have seen this before and at the end we have one command which is get end if I want to check what is the IP address of the server lazy people will do ping server okay this is the IP address because I know that I've added it in the etc host better admins would do hosts host server okay this is not working so it is in the etc host this is not part of the dns good so i have to check etc hosts i would say cat etc hosts 
and start watching like this and saying, where is it? Oh, okay, it's here. This is it. This is not that good. The better this admin will do cat etc host grep server. This is the IP address. This is cleaner. Even some people will say, this is idiotic when you're doing this and become super angry, just like the people who go with the mouse in the search, click in the, go to the Google site, go to the search bar, click in the search bar, type something, use the mouse to go and click on the search. Just do Control K or whatever your computer does. In my case, it's Command K. We'll go to the toolbar, type anything and press enter. Even if you are going to the Google, if you are going to the toolbar, just type and push enter press enter you don't need to go with the mouse and press search this gives the same feeling to some people they say you have to do grep server in this file don't cut the file and then grep in it okay anyway so there are different ways to find that server the correct way is the get entry i say get entry in the hosts database the server so it's okay in the host database this is the server you can do the same with the passwords you can do you can do get entry in the passwords i need jati it says okay in the etc pass w this is the jati i have never ever seen a person who does this we always do grab server in etc hosts Oh, and at the end, you should know about systemd, resolvd. As most of the other things, systemd is eating the whole computer. Now it has a systemd, resolvd subsystem, which does DNS for you. So nowadays in most desktops and the latest servers, we have this service doing a minimal DNS stuff for us. By minimal, I, need, I mean what we need on our client side. Because DNS is a very, very cool system. Not huge. I wanted to say huge in the beginning. Uh, you can have a DNS here. It can talk with another DNS, answer queries back to other people and stuff. This thing only does what you need on the client. You need to ask about the hosts. If it doesn't know it, it will consult a main DNS somewhere defined in etcresolve.conf or etcsystemdresolve.conf and gives you back the answer. This is thus what this system do. And when this is active, it creates an IP address. This is 127.0053. This is the Port, but it uses an IP address like this. 53 is the default port for the DNS queries. But systemd resolve the creates this IP address and sets this as your computer's DNS query system. So on this level of LPIC, you only need to have an awareness of the systemd resolve D, which you already have. Hope you enjoyed it. DNS is fine and easy on the client side still it's very easy on the server side too but very nice i think in lpic 2 we may cover it who knows tell your friends if i have enough viewers i will start a totally free lpic 2 series too i'm enjoying it.